Super Insulators, the hiding place of magnetic monopoles. The concept of single electrical charge is ubiquitous in physics. Whether they're protons, electrons, or quarks, particles carrying electrical charges are fundamental to our universe. Meanwhile, magnetism appears to have different rules. Instead of being single, magnetic charges come in inseparable pairs, like the north and south poles of a bar magnet. If such a magnet were broken in half, their two poles would not separate, but would each reform an opposing pole, creating two new magnets. This principle is at the center of the theory that isolated magnetic charges, named magnetic monopoles, cannot exist. However, in the 1930s, Paul Dirac doubted that there was a fundamental difference between the properties of electrical and magnetic charges. Through calculations, he showed how magnetic monopoles could exist after all. Dirac's ideas led to a consistent quantum theory of electromagnetism, including both electric and magnetic charges. However, researchers could not find experimental evidence for magnetic monopoles after decades of searching. Now, Dr. Maria Cristina Diamantini at the University of Perugia, Dr. Valerie Vinicor at Terra Quantum, and Dr. Carlo Trugenberger at Swiss Scientific Technologies predict that this deadlock could be about to change. The team's theories originate from the effect of superconductivity. This phenomenon allows electrical currents to flow through a material with zero resistance. It arises in certain materials at ultra-cold temperatures, where two oppositely spinning electrons couple together as a Cooper pair, which can flow through the material. Superconductors can come in the form of arrangements or superconducting granules, called Josephson junction arrays, in which Cooper pairs tunnel between neighboring granules, mediating a current. In 1996, theoretical studies of Josephson junction arrays led Dr. Diamantini and Dr. Trugenberger to a new discovery. At ultra-low temperature, the conductivity of these materials can drop to zero, exhibiting infinite electrical resistance, and Cooper pairs cannot flow through them. They called this new state of matter a superinsulator. This behavior indicated a duality between the properties of electrical and magnetic charges, a principle that relies on the existence of magnetic monopoles. Over a decade later, in 2008, studying superconductor insulator transition, Dr. Vinicor and his team discovered that upon cooling, the conductivity of a thin film taken at the insulating side of this transition suddenly drops to zero at a certain temperature. Dr. Vinicor's team independently developed a theory and also termed this newly discovered state a superinsulator. They conjectured that close to the superconductor insulator transition, the films self-organize into arrays of superconducting droplets, just like granules in a Josephson junction array. Together, Drs. Diamantini, Trugenberger, and Vinicor have built an understanding of the origin of superinsulators. In superconductors, Cooper pairs form a quantum fluid called a Bose condensate. However, the infinite resistance observed at the insulating side of the superconductor insulator transition stems from a Bose condensate of magnetic monopoles. This Bose condensate of magnetic monopoles is a mirror twin of the Bose condensate of Cooper pairs in the superconducting state. Therefore, duality between electrical and magnetic charges emerged again, and was strongly evidenced by experiment. After years of repeating and improving on this experiment, the team has now gathered indisputable proof of this effect, discovering a necessity for magnetic monopoles to exist on the superinsulating side of the superconductor insulator transition. The team then shed new light on the mechanism that allows electrons to become paired in the first place. Previously, this mechanism was thought to involve particle-like vibrations named phonons. However, this would no longer work in high-temperature superconductors, where pairing mechanisms would need to be far stronger. Instead, the researchers have suggested a different route to Cooper pair formation, based on the attraction provided by magnetic monopoles. Unlike phonons, monopole-based mechanisms allow electrons to become paired even when higher temperatures introduce more vibrations in the material, which would drown out individual phonons. For nearly a century since Dirac's theories, the idea of a symmetry between singular magnetic and electrical charges has been doubted by many physicists. Yet, through their groundbreaking discoveries of the role of magnetic monopoles in superconducting materials, Drs. Vinicor, Diamantini, and Trugenberger are transforming this picture. Their ideas could unify the physics of magnetic charges and electrical charges with profound technological implications. By identifying new ways to produce room temperature superconductors, 
Technologies, including extremely high-performance circuits and sensors, could become a reality.